Hey, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Spike Reviews. Today I am on the move. I'm going to be reviewing this restaurant that I've been wanting to try for a very long time in my area called Korean Street Eats. So we're going to go inside. I got permission to film. Of course, you got to ask before you do it. And we're going to try a few things off their menu and see what I think. Uh, pretty excited. Let's go. guys I'm inside now I ordered a bunch of things that seemed interesting to me and I'm gonna go ahead and taste everything review it see what I think the presentation I will say already gets massive points for me because everything's so pretty looking like I don't even want to eat it so yeah let's I'm gonna show you what I got Alright, so first off I got the kimchi fried rice, which is a classic. It's one of the things I like the most when I go to Korean restaurants. And then I got the bulgogi kimbap, which is also a very a staple. One of the most basic foods, Korean foods, that everybody gets, but I love it. It's Korean sushi basically. Uh, I got spicy rice cakes, which is called tteokbokki. I believe that's how you pronounce it in Korean. And got it with cheese. That's, that's probably not going to sit well in my stomach later on, that spiciness in the cheese, but I had to try it. And this is probably the nicest looking thing out of the whole thing. It's an egg sandwich with avocado. Look at that. Look at that work of art. And then there's like a little bit of, I think it's mayo on top. Not 100% sure. Ham and very thick sliced bread. Look how thick that is. Thick with three C's. At least, maybe four, I don't know. And then they gave me this on the side to try as well, which is bulldog flavored kimori. Says it's spicy, we'll see. All right, is this technically a mukbang? I guess it's not if I review the stuff, right? All right, we'll, we'll see, whatever. All right, first I'm gonna try the tokoki. Um, I'm a huge fan of rice cakes, mainly because of the spicy tomato-like base that they use for the sauce and the texture too. It's kind of like you're eating a savory gummy gummy worm. Uh, it's weird to say and it's weird to like think about that texture in your mouth. That's what she said. But um, yeah, let's get that cheese pull. Mm, that's very cheesy. Yeah. How good that looks. Sorry if I'm making you hungry at home, but that's too bad. You're just gonna have to come to Dallas to the uh, Carrollton area and try Korean street eats for yourself. All right, cheers. Really good, pretty spicy. I think if you like spicy food, this probably isn't for you. Um, texture, love the texture. The cheese, I've never had tteokbokki with cheese before, but it works. Now, I don't think I'm ever getting it without cheese ever again. So, yeah. Alright. There's a lot more food. So I'm only going to take one more bite of this and then move on. I think there's an egg in here too. I'm not sure. Sometimes rice cakes come with egg. But um, I guess I'm going to have to dig in here. There is an egg in here. It's kind of messy. I'm not going to eat the egg. There it is. It's a big old egg in there. Look how cheesy that is. So good. Alright, one more. And then we'll move on. I promise. Alright, so the tteokbokki gets an easy... I know it's probably exaggerated, but it's gonna get a 10 out of 10. It's just so, so good. Probably some of the best tteokbokki I've ever had. And the cheese, 
added to it just made it so much better. So 10 out of 10 for that dish. Now let's move on to the kimchi fried rice. All right, for the kimchi fried rice, there is seaweed on top. There's quite a bit of cheese as well. And then there's the kimchi, the rice of course, and a fried egg, I believe. Yeah, you can see the runny like yolk right there. All right, just gonna dig in. I'm gonna try and break that cheese apart because it has settled along with the egg. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything. I'm gonna get some of the seaweed, the rice, the kimchi, and uh, yeah, the egg. I keep wanting to say itadakimasu, but this isn't a Japanese restaurant. I don't know, what do you, what do you say in Korean? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, there we go. Look at that. Look at that goodness. I think cheese makes everything better. And uh, Japanese food, you really don't find a lot of cheese. Cheese isn't very common in Japan. But in Korean food, they use it quite a bit. So uh, I'm enjoying the experience. All right, one more bite. One thing I will say, if my only gripe about this dish is that the, the, the rice is a little too soft, it's a little too mushy, but the flavor is excellent, so I think the flavor makes up for the texture. Um, the egg, really good. The seaweed on top, really good. And the cheese addition, mixed with the kimchi, the, the rice, and everything combined, excellent. So, kimchi fried rice gets a nine out of 10. It would've gotten a 10, but the rice is a little too mushy for my taste, but the taste is delicious, so I really can't knock it too many points. On to the next one. All right, next up we're gonna go with the bulgogi kimbap. Kimbap is basically Korea's version of sushi. Um, there's a lot of variations to it, just like Japanese sushi. Uh, they use a lot of meat in Korean sushi, which is kind of used in nigiri in Japanese cuisine, along with pickled daikon inside of it. A lot of times there's just veggies. You can find tuna, cheese, just about everything in it. And it's a unique variation from the sushi that you're used to if you're not used to eating kimbap. But um, I got the bulgogi one. They have very like a bunch of different varieties. And they have vegetarian ones. They have, um, I think they have a tuna one here too. I'm pretty sure they have a tuna and cheese one, which is an interesting combination, but I'll get that next time. All right, so this is the bulgogi which is basically marinated thin sliced meat and vegetables. It's not focusing. Let's go. Man, everything's good. It's very rare when a place like all the dishes you try, I mean, I haven't tried all the dishes, but I did get a good amount, like their standout dishes. Very rare when everything is really good. But so far everything has been like stellar. Everything's really, really good. That pickled daikon inside of uh, kimbap just kind of ties everything together. Because usually it's like very savory, kind of heavy. There's a lot of rice, meat, vegetables. But the acidity from the daikon kind of brings everything together. It works very well. All right, one more and I'll move on, I promise. So good. So before I do, this gets a 10 out of 10. Easy. Water break. All right, last but not least is the HEC sandwich, which is technically ham, eggs, and cheese. And it's probably the most impressive looking dish out of all the ones I've had. There's a lot of cheese hanging out right there. Thick sliced bread whole lot of egg and some avocado on top that you can add for an extra charge. I always get avocado, it doesn't matter. Now I think the biggest challenge with this one is putting it in my mouth. Look how huge it is. I don't think I can open that wide. I'm gonna have to like cobra this out and unhinge my jaw or something. Look at this thing. Jesus. It's huge. Alright, I'm just gonna go in. I'm probably gonna make a mess, but here we go. How do I do this? Right. 
if this isn't the ultimate breakfast sandwich, I don't know what is. Like, I don't want to have anything else for breakfast ever again after this. I think this ruined breakfast sandwiches for me completely. And that's a good thing. The, the ham is really good. The eggs are like really fluffy and nice. The avocado, always good. Can't miss with avocado. But what I thought was mayo on top, it's kind of like a sweet sauce. I'm not sure what it is. I might ask and then I'll add it in the uh, right here in the title or something. But this is amazing. The bread is like really light and fluffy. So good. The HEC, probably gonna be my most recommended thing out of everything I've had. Cause this, this sandwich will blow your mind. So this one gets an easy 10 out of 10. Like hands down, it'll ruin breakfast sandwiches for you for all time, forever. But it's a good thing. All right, yeah, I'm gonna take another bite. All right, last but not least, they gave me this on the house for me to try. And this is King, King Nori. Snorty is seaweed, as a lot of you, my fellow weebs might know, or Japanese food connoisseurs. But this is Korean crispy seaweed, bulldog flavor, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure what that is. There is three peppers on there, so I'm guessing it's pretty spicy, but we'll see. If I can get into this. Here's what it looks like. I'm a fan of snacking on this. I usually buy them at Walmart and then I'll just eat them as I'm gaming or on the go. It's not filling at all, but it's a texture thing. It's really good. Basically just really crispy seaweed, usually flavored, usually just with sea salt. But I hope this is spicy. Let's try it. I think they gave this to me on purpose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's definitely spicy. Damn. Spiciest seaweed I've ever had. I think you can see the like the pepper flakes right there. Um I'd say if you're not a fan of spicy food, stay away from this. Because it's pretty spicy. Spicier than I thought. Going in with for one more, I don't know why. I like to torture myself. Alright, here we go. That's spicy. Oh. Yeah, so these are gonna get like a 7 out of 10 out of me. They're very tasty, but I can't give them any higher because if you don't like spicy food, you're not gonna enjoy these at all. I, I enjoy spicy food, and even these were too, too hot for me. But yeah, uh, 7 out of 10 for these. Maybe stay away from them. Yeah. Alright guys, well that was Korean Street Eats. I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I'm planning on doing more outside of the house reviews like this to change it up a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video and the food. And if you live in the area, would you try and and come and try all these amazing foods out yourself are you adventurous or do you just stick to the regular same old i suggest you expand your horizons and try new things that's just what my philosophy always is on food but anyways as always please like comment and subscribe hit the little bell so you're notified every time i drop a brand new video be kind to each other wash your hands and i'll see you on the next one peace